Okay. So if you're cool, we're going to kind of jump right on in because I got a lot of questions for you, Kate. So, okay. Hi, everybody. Hi. If you don't know this amazing human being next to me, <laughs> I'm going to let Kate introduce herself because she's fabulous and you need to know her. Oh, I thank you. Well, I think that you're fabulous as well. So, hey, everybody. I am Kate Doster of katedoster.com, and it is my soul and soul's mission to put money in the hands of good people so they can do good with it and to eradicate this idea that nice people finish last in 2022 because the truth is people love to spend money. Like, I guarantee that if I asked, hey, have you bought anything on Amazon in the last two weeks? Your answer is yes. So why would you want people to buy from you? Somebody who actually cares about their audience, who is going to go above and beyond for them, who's not just going to treat them like some throwaway dollar sign. So that is what I do. We help primarily with sales, mindset, and psychology, and email marketing. Do you find that the casual way of selling, especially in a B2C space, because I think most of us mm -hmm. are B2C, um, in the B2C space, do you find... Sorry, anybody who doesn't know, business to consumer, business to business, so business B2B stuff. Yeah. We, now you guys know the insider lingo, by the way. Um, inside the B2C space, talking to like regular people, normal people, do you think that it is easier to convince them to buy through like a softer selling method than through a harder selling method or the other way around? I think that, I think that's a soft selling sort of works. I do think that there are some. Um, what I consider for my personal taste, although other people will love them, I think that there are some things that I feel are just too aggressive for yeah. consumers or in personal niches that you're going to see that other marketers get away with or other business coaches, like in the B2B space, because we all know how the game is run. I think you can get away with being a lot more aggressive. But again, it's that thing of the other day I was talking to the student of my, you know, grow your amazing plant course. And guess what you're going to do? You're going to hyperlink to the Grow Your Amazing Plant course when you say its name every time. And she was wondering, how can I get my tomatoes to not have bugs? So quick tip, put coffee grounds. And then it's like, if you're looking for more, you can go and look at this course. Or if you're looking for more, go read this blog post. So that way they know that you have it, especially for business to consumers, because I think we're so afraid and we don't want to be salesy. Your audience might have no idea what you sell. They might have none. So being able just to like casually mention it like this, or, you know, the other day I was working on updating because you were, you're not lying if you were actually updating a product. Right. Mm -hmm. And it's like this, or I was talking to or like this, or, you know, which got me thinking about, and then that's how you're going to sort of do it. Again, if you are running something time-based, then there is going to be a time in there, especially towards the end where your subject line literally is going to be. And I know everyone hates this, but last chance for whatever it is that you're going to save. It's like, Hey, mm -hmm. I know that you want blank, blank and blank. And that's exactly what we're going to tackle in this. And as it turns out, you only got two hours left to save 45%. So I just wanted to make sure that you knew. That's <laughs> like, okay, thanks. Yeah. And see, it's, it's like more much more, than, um, yeah, sorry. Conversational, like yeah. organic inside of it without feeling like you need to set up a time to launch constantly yeah. like you can still promote your stuff without saying like okay from monday through wednesday from the first through the fifth i must be talking about just this product it doesn't have mm -mm. to be like that yeah and you don't have to offer anything like say special because i think some people think that too like oh i've got to have a discount if i'm going to talk about my planner i've got to have this no it could be the time of the year it could be like i one of my favorite emails which we talk about in the course a lot more i left my keys in my trunk and because I didn't want to spill my iced coffee. And I related that how people will spend so much time on social media, but they're not going to pay attention to the thing that matters most, the keys or the relationship with the people on their email list. And then I parlayed it into a sale for my uh, email marketing fairy Perfect. template sets that I have. Like you can definitely, again, they're, they're still getting something. They're still learning. They're still like, oh, that's right. And if this is also a problem for you, look, I've got something that's going to help it out. So That's it can just perfect. be randomly when you sit down that day. Okay. <laughs> and another thing that you said in Love Your List, which I'm like, I never thought of this. It was find the national holiday and then make an excuse. Be like, it's national, whatever it was, bacon day. Send yeah, an email. Right, Mint Julep, right. Uh, it was, they had, it was a summit that I was part of 
uh, like last month and it was national cheese lovers day. And I said 13 cheese puns in that email and in an hour. And you guys, if you've ever spoken at summits, like, you know, their all access passes are not priced very high, right? In one hour, I made a thousand dollars of affiliate commission off of a cheese pun email because it was that good. <laughs> like you can have so much fun. Again, it can be like, you know, national black and white day or penguin day. And then again, you can talk about, you know, the arts and crafts that you have for penguins. You can talk about black and white cookies. You can talk about mm -hmm. Antarctica. You can talk about how you have cuteness rage, kind of like how some people have pixel rage when it comes to Facebook. Like there's a lot of different ways that you can make those work out. So it's like the one that I use is the national, I think it's national holiday, oh, it's holidayinsights.com is the one that I love the most. And again, sometimes like March, Mm, they're kind of duds because I was going to use one for our webinar. I'm like none of these is really is are that exciting, but sometimes it's just worth it to use your creativity. I'm like Melba toast day. Like what? <laughs> but sometimes you can be like, did you know that there's a Melba toast day? And then you explain what Melba toast is. And then you can talk about something else that somebody wouldn't like normally know is a thing when it comes to your industry or your niche. Like that's how you can make things sort of fun and interesting without being yeah. zany or swearing or any of that sort of stuff. Yeah. Keep it fun. And you know, any excuse this, uh, let that sounded like bad when I was going to say it, but like any excuse for you to continue to have a dialogue with your people, mm -hmm. what emails are. What okay, are the so best compliments you can get? Is, <laughs> I feel saying, like I know you, or I feel like we're talking together. Cause that's it. Like when you write an email, I don't want you thinking that you're writing it to like, a million people just think of a person who's almost as excited about your topic as you are so almost as excited about growing plants or almost as excited yep. about organization because we all know like especially like you know the two of us like we're friends so like, we'll talk about like crossfit and, like powerlifting like all this like nerdy stuff right? and we'll talk about marketing like we love it but like you know your husband's just kind of like uh-huh right like their eyes just right. glaze over so i like to pretend my email subscribers are almost as excited about like online business or like this sort of stuff that I am and they want to hear it. And I think that when you go with that mentality of, oh, they want to hear this because they're also almost as excited for this as I am, it helps a lot. Thank you so much for coming today and bestowing your knowledge on us. Oh. And um, so people can find you at what is your website? <laughs> Oh, you go to katedoster.com and I do have a podcast. We're going on a bit of a summer slash spring break, but it is every other week. It's called Inbox Bests and you can go there as well. Uh, if you're like, mm, I'm not really in the mood for a webinar, um, I'll make sure that Caroline drops the link. I do have a freebie that's two years worth of strategic email ideas. So I literally like January, week one, send this, week two, send this. If you're a rule breaker, you can like switch them up or you can like go look at May. I let them know if it's like, Oh, it's mint julep day in May. So like you have to send this in May. So, and if you're like, but Kate, like what about, you know, January, February, they come back. So it's fine. If you're watching this and it's like July, it's cool. The rest of the months come back. Just, just recycle it. You're good. Oh yeah. It's fantastic guys. If you're ever, if you're one of those people who's like, I, it is Friday at 3 PM. I have a half an hour before I can pick up the kids. I have no idea what to send. That's an awesome freebie for it. Uh, Kate, thank you so much for joining us. And guys, we will see you hopefully at the webinar. You guys should all mm -hmm. sign up. It's going to be fantastic. Bye. Bye.